Hello friends, it's Harith from Bonsai Labs. Today I will show you how you can add a custom service worker code in your React projects created using Create React App. I have created a project using Create React App and call it CRA Custom Service Worker. I have made changes to two files, so let's view them first. First, I have replaced the default implementation of app.js file with my own implementation. This implementation contains two parts, a form and a user info in the table. The form contains one text input and a button called submit. I will shortly show you how this looks. When the user types into the box, handle change method is called, which sets the value into the state. I have made use of React hooks to keep the name variable in the state whose default value is an empty string. When a user clicks the submit button, handle click is called. It is logging a message onto the console and I will soon call GitHub API to fetch the data and set the user info. The user info is then used in the render method to present the information in the table. I have also updated app.css to change the look and feel of the form. I have this app running locally and we can see how it looks currently at localhost port 3000. When I fill my GitHub username and click the button, a message is logged on the console as expected. I will now change the implementation of handle click. I will call fetch with the GitHub API and pass on the name provided by the user. I will call dot then method to capture the response and return the result by calling dot JSON method. I will use another dot then method and here I will have the access to the data returned by GitHub API. I will call the set user info method which will fill the user info object. Let's go back and test. Back in the browser, I will refresh the page and enter my GitHub username followed by clicking the button. And as we can see, now the data is populated for my GitHub username. I change the username to Bonsai Labs and the data renders the information of this user. Now, let's say you want to intercept all the fetch calls made to the network. Note that these fetch calls also include fetching the resources such as icon files in your project. One way to do that is to use a service worker and listen to all the fetch events in your app. Let's see how to do that in the React app created using Create React App. Back in our project, we can see a file called serviceworker.js, which comes with Create React App. This file is not the service worker file. It is a template that will be used in the build process to create a service worker file. I will show you a generated service worker file shortly. For now, this template file contains two methods called register and unregister. These methods are used to register and unregister a service worker in the project. If you navigate to index.js, you will see that currently service worker is not registered. Let's change this to call register method and see if the service worker shows up. Back in the browser, I hit refresh and navigate to the application panel of Chrome DevTools, but we do not see the service worker here. That's because when you are using the app created with Create React App, you must create a production build to see a registered service worker. Back in the terminal, I will create a production build using npm run build command. Once it completes, I will use serve-s build to serve the production bundle. Hmm, I do not seem to have serve installed. So I will first install serve using npm install-g serve command. Once it completes, I will run serve-f build command again, and this time our app is running on port 5000 instead of 3000. Back in the browser, I will change the port, and here you will see a service worker with number 0 activated and running. And our app is still running as expected. Back in the code base, the generated service worker is created in build directory when I ran npm run build command, and it is called service-worker.js. If you look at the contents of this file, you will see that it says it's an auto-generated file and warns not to update it directly. Hmm. So where shall we write our service worker code to intercept the fetch calls? For that, I will create a new file under src directory and call it custom service worker.js. In this file, I will add an event listener on self. Here, self will refer to the service worker once this code is placed in our generated service worker file. I will show you how in the next step. Here, I will call the self.addEventListener method and listen for the fetch event. I will provide a callback which receives a fetch event 
and with that event, I log the request method and URL of the request. Now to include this code in our generated service worker.js, I will change our build command located in package.json. I will append the contents of src slash custom service worker.js to build slash service worker.js. Then I will create another production build by executing npm run build command and run it using serve minus s build command. We are now ready to test. Back in the browser, I will first empty the cache and do the hard reload, but this did not load our new service worker changes. It is still sitting at number zero. I will try to reload a few times before I see a message that says new content is available and will be used when all the tabs for this page are closed. For that, I will open up a new tab, close the existing tab and open our app at port 5000. As you can see, it started intercepting all fetch requests. Now, when I enter the GitHub usernames and click submit, we can see the data and that the custom service worker intercepts these fetch requests as well. Also, we can see our custom service worker code in the generated service hyphen worker.js file. As you navigate the build folder and scroll all the way in the bottom of the file, you will see the code that we have written. Fantastic. So you now know how you can write the custom service worker with React projects created with Create React app. Let us know if you have more topics that you would like us to cover and we will work on them to help you learn better. See you next time.